guys so it's Sunday and Pastor John Gray has responded to the rumors that his church Relentless Church is being evicted from the building that Redemption Church currently owns we're gonna get into his response to his congregation but first we're gonna get into his PR team's response to my video all right so after I posted my video regarding Pastor John Gray and Relentless's church um, lease being terminated. I received this email from the um, PR team for Pastor John Gray and Relentless Church. Hi, Layla. Your video titled Pastor John Gray and Relentless Church Evicted from Property contains false and defamatory information. There is absolutely no eviction notice and nothing has been filed with the Greenville County Court Records, nor have they been served with an eviction notice. Relentless Church and the Gray family is current with every financial obligation as outlined by the leases they are under. A termination letter referencing a false verbal agreement was sent. The letter did not, however, reference the actual signed lease agreement in which Redemption slash Ron Carpenter is in violation of not honoring, amongst many other things, and it did not state that they are behind in the lease payments. Again, Relentless is current with both of their leases. And they asked me to edit the title of my YouTube video where it said evicted. But check out his response to the church. And we had to make a decision. I could leave, take my family, say, you know what? I was fine where I was. Or... I could ask God, you want me to stay here? He was real clear, yeah. I said, okay. And here's what I know. I may not be everybody's pastor, but I'm somebody's pastor. And the only people that I want to go with us is the people that are called. And I want everybody to be in a church where they feel they can honor and respect the leadership. I don't hate anybody. Every church that's open for the name of Jesus, it is my prayer that they flourish and thrive. And see, let me just go on and say this. All of this stuff between redemption and relentless this is not natural, it is spiritual. Because the things that can be handled could be handled very easily. And I'm declaring that this week there will be a monumental shift that me and Pastor Ron will sit down, finish whatever we both have on our agenda and break the devil in half so that the kingdom of God can move forward. I'm saying this to everybody watching, to everybody who's watching for good intent and negative intent. You will never hear me publicly or privately bash Pastor Ron, Pastor Hope, or Redemption Church. Because when he handed me the keys, let me tell you who got offended, the devil. Here's why. We wrestled not. It was a wrestling match. But what the devil thought is once Pastor Ron is out of here and he goes to the West Coast, then I got the region to myself. But the best wrestling matches are the tag team. And what was supposed to happen was a smooth transition where as he went to the West Coast, he tagged me in, not for a better anointing, a different anointing. And the devil couldn't let it happen, so he used people to get in the way. And he used money to get in the way. And he used misinformation to get in the way. And he used confusion to get in the way. And I declare that that devil will bow down. I need a couple of worshipers in the back. Even if you're a visitor, act like a worshiper. Pastor Ab, we have a destiny. We have a people to lead in this region. And let me say this. Oh, God, help me. 
It's been hard, mama. Lost sleep. And I didn't understand what God was doing because I'm like, Lord, I'm, I, what are you doing? He said, I'm trying to break you. Why would you do that? You were too wild. Wild horses run wherever they want. They do whatever they want. And I'm going to be honest. I had not embraced discipline. I didn't embrace a consistent, committed prayer life. But life will put you on your knees. God says, you're a wild horse. And I need to break you so I can use you. So God's been breaking me, Pastor Kenny. And I said, well, what, how does that help? He said, secretariat. Some of y'all may not know who that is, but it's the greatest racehorse that ever lived. But it wasn't the greatest racehorse until it had been trained. The Holy Spirit is a trainer because he's trying to pull something out of you. And living wild and living undisciplined and living an unfruitful life and not making a decision for Christ and not making a decision to stand and not making a decision to embrace development will cause you to live a wild life. And it might be fun, but it won't produce fruit. And what God's trying to do is he's trying to help me to understand that what I want you to do, you're not going to be able to do it in manpower. You're going to have to embrace horsepower. Well, pastor, what's your, what's your scripture? Jeremiah 12, 5 and 6. If you have run with the footmen and they have wearied you, then how can you contend with the horses? And if in the land of peace in which you trusted they wearied you, then how will you do in the floodplain of the Jordan? For even your brothers, the house of your father, even they have dealt treacherously with you. Yes, they have called a multitude after you. Do not believe them, even though they speak smooth words to you. I am grateful for the men and women of Relentless Church. But I need you to go from man and woman power to horsepower. So I have one question. Where are my horses at? So as this service comes to a close, know this time next week, we will have already been finished with Vision 2020. Which means you don't get vision if you're only going to be in the city two more weeks. Relentless Church will be lifting up Jesus and we will do so wherever the Lord allows it to happen. But we are going to speak life, we're going to honor God, and we will disrespect no one. Focus on God. I just hate that I see scandal after scandal follow this man and follow this family. I hate seeing that. And it's hard to see as a Christian, it's hard to see someone who's professing Christ to the world it's hard to see you know scandal after scandal plague him it's just hard to watch so at this point i'm following the story but more than anything i'm praying that things work out for the best anyway i create each of these videos as a forum like a safe place to talk so leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on this specific situation. What do you think about Pastor John Gray possibly moving, staying in Greenville, but Relentless Church moving and then Redemption Church possibly going forward without him? What do you think about there being two separate churches? And what do you think about the scandals that seem to follow Pastor John Gray? Leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. And as always, thanks for watching.